it was 2015 when uh when i bought my first all mountain bike and that was a giant trance a 2015 giant trance it wasn't until about a year and a couple of months later that I, I upgraded for the first time a set of components on the bike. I didn't know any better, right? I was happy with the bike. I'd been doing some recreational, more XC type riding, but this was new to me. The, you know, go down as fast as you can and smash everything on your way down type of riding was new to me. Um, and so I figured I, uh, I share with you some of the things that I learned along the way in the last five years. And, uh, and one of those has to do with my top five essential or go-to component upgrades every time I get a different bike. And so that's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, this would be overdrive. And we're gonna do just the, the top section of it. There are three points of contact that was fun. between you and your bike. And it's very important, right, for the quality of the ride, as well as the safety um, of your ride, to have those three points of contact um, covered rather These well. These are the three points of contact. Your grips, your saddle, and your pedals. Um, the grips, in this case, um, these grips were brand new. Um, and the person that sold me the bike handed me this these grips unused brand new still in the package um, And so I decided to give them a try and uh, So far they're working rather well, and I think they probably go for about $25 the second component is uh, The saddle right another point of contact between you and the bike and for me the Volt saddle is my go-to saddle I, it just works it's comfortable i don't ride padded shorts um and so uh the comfort of a saddle is, is it's really important to me this was on my capra and i took it off when i sold my capra i'm i'm keeping this saddle my third is going to be my pedals these are ht uh evo ae05 pedals and they are not um the cheapest right i think these retail for 162 dollars they're low profile the weight is acceptable i'm not you know huge on weight um the pins are replaceable the platform is wide enough for me and for my for my foot i've been on pedals before where my foot just it just doesn't feel right whether the platform is too narrow or the the profile of the pedals is, is somewhat rounded and, and not flat um, and it's it's just not confident uh, confidence inspiring and it kind of ruins your ride um, so they do make a difference and 162 dollars for a set of pedals is a lot of money but in at least in my book it's a it's a worthy investment same as the grips and definitely um, my saddle all right so that's three of five this one's uh this shows rabbit hole and the bottom the lower section it's by far the most fun so let's let's go bird
And this is the acceleration that I love about this bike. On those flats. Again, something that my Capra didn't provide for me. This is the bottom or the lower section of rabbit hole. And it's been a minute. I don't know. How it is. Woo. <laughs> I did hear back from DVO and suggestion is to continue to ride the fork that spring noise may go away if it doesn't it's just gonna need more grease I really am enjoying the feel of the fork um, the plushness of it and uh, the traction that I get from it which is it's noticeably more than at least than what I, I was getting on my uh, my Fox performance fork Fox 36 so I'm gonna do exactly what they said ride it some more hopefully the noise goes away if not uh, we'll get some grease in there upgrade number four and number five uh, number four will go with the uh, point of contact between the bike and the ground and that's gonna be the tires this bike came with the uh, DHF it has it still has quite a bit of life left in it and so um, I will upgrade this tire here pretty soon to an Asagai um, EXO plus casing but for the time being, I, I like the DHF, and so I figured I would leave it on. In the rear, it, uh, it came with a specialized branded tire, which um, I didn't quite uh, uh, like, I guess. And so I replaced it um, with a Minion DHR2. The reason why I went with the DHR2 over the Dissector, which is really what I wanted, it's because the Dissector um, EXO Plus casing was completely sold out. I would have had to have waited um, some time before getting it. And uh, the DHR2 was in stock. And it was, it, it's obviously, it's one of the most popular tires in Rifley. So it's one of the, the best tires, um, I think most would agree. And, uh, and so I figured I'd throw that on. Um, rather than running the the butcher I think it is uh, from specialized I'm not sure why it came on there uh, and it was like a 2.6 so it was way too big in terms of upgrades immediate upgrades to a bike um, the tires make a huge difference and it, it all depends on where you're riding what terrain you're riding and then the time of the year weather right is it wet is it dry is it muddy here in the future it's gonna be Asagai up front and uh, Minion um, Dissector out back. And uh, that's my preferred combo. Um, I've tested it and it works really well for me, um, at least where I do my riding. Number five um, upgrade for me, my, my immediate go-to upgrade um, has to do with the stem um, and the bars. I decided to go with this factor stem, um, 35 diameter, 35 in length and it replaced the stock i think it was a 40 a 40 mil stem 
I decided to go with Factor. In this case, it's the first time I'm running that stem. I like the look. I like the whole design. It's affordable. I think it's $59. If you're unsure on whether to uh, downsize your stem or upsize your stem, the Factor stem is an affordable uh, way of testing it out um, because you're not going to be a whole lot of money out of pocket if you don't end up liking the feel of it. I don't mind the uh, the stock pivot bars that it came with. Um, the rise I was a little concerned with um, in, in being that I'm used to running a 30 mil rise. I don't know. They're working. So I think I'm going to keep them on. So let's recap. My go-to most immediate essential component upgrades on a bike for me are um, the grips, my saddle, my pedals, the tires, and then lastly, the stamina bars. Um, I hope that you found this video useful. And if you did find it useful, um, hit that like button, share it with somebody who you think um, will benefit from it. And if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I will see you again and uh, ride faster, don't die, and God bless. Ooh. You hear that? It's quiet out here.